guys, how are you doing? This is Mangret Search, and I'm here today to bring you the review for Digimon Adventure Try episode number 12. All this episode was was the fight between the Digidestins and Mikumon. Now, the fight has a really touching ending, but I think the choreography for the fight was done all wrong. And just in case you don't know what I mean by that, I'm going to explain it now. So the fight basically starts off, it's not all of the team, but it's most of the team, and they're fighting in their champion forms against Mikumon, who is also a champion level Digimon. And now you got to remember that they're not trying to kill Mikumon, just push her back into the distortion, capture her basically. Let's just say they're trying to capture her. So obviously they're not going to go all out. So they start things off fighting in their champion forms. Doing fairly alright, I'd say it was a 55-45 split, 55 going to Mikumon. And yeah, like I said, they're holding their own and then make Mikumon evolve. So therefore she has gone into ultimate level. Now instead of the other Digimon Digivolving into Ultimate level, knowing they're not really doing too good, they don't necessarily have the upper hand. They're still fighting at champion level. Granted, they are able to push her into the distortion, and I think she comes out a couple of times. In this, it's an in and out bit situation throughout the whole thing, but I'm thinking to myself, if you're not the likely winner, why are you still fighting in champion form when most of you can go up to ultimate and the, majority, and the rest can go up to mega? You see what I'm saying here? I've also just now remembered that. That Gomamon and Paramon are now capable of Megas within this episode. So, yeah, they're fighting in the distortion now. Everybody's getting infected one after the other. And even then, people are not stepping up to their true potential. Nobody's continues to digivolve. No one's, yeah, no one's doing no more digivolution. It's not until Greymon is what, like, by himself. For the moment, because Tentamon hops into the fight late. It's not until Greymon is by himself that then he decides to digivolve into Metal Greymon. So not even going all the way he can, knowing that he's the only one <laughs> left fighting. And I'm like, what? What are you doing? Are you actually trying to win this? To win this? I'm like, oh my gosh. So eventually everyone gets infected and it's just 10 to 1, 10 to 1 standing and that just leads to the best part of the episode which I call 10 to 1's one man stand because he has to stand up to all his friends by himself and just fight them with, the, with all that he can and, he, and he don't, we don't know what, how it ends up but he's going to do it, he's like, is he... He's basically saying goodbye to Izzy and he's like, I'm sorry for not telling you I was affected. And he just goes for it. Now, this mega evolution, I can accept more than Gomamon and Paramon because for them to, it kind, it was kind of like, oh, was this needed at this certain amount of time? Or was it just added in there because we need to get all the mega, we need to get everyone in the team up to mega form. But for this, like, it was needed. He was by himself. One man against about eight or something, eight, yeah, eight, I think. And he, there, yeah, a mega evolution was needed there, so he evolves into his mega form. Hercules comes here, him on a homage to the Hercules Beetle, Beetle being the Digimon, the real life animal that tends on is based on. And yeah, he just goes for it. And even then, one mega against all these infected Digimon. The infected Digimon were able to push him out of this distortion. And like the whole bit from Tentamon saying his goodbye to the very end of the episode. That's my favourite bit of this episode. And yeah, we see him getting pushed back out. And by this time, the reboot has been caused. And yeah, the reboot has been activated. So from when the reboot is activated, you're thinking, oh my gosh. Are they going to make it in time? Oh, it's on this side. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are they going to make it in time? And then it's, you see that the time is going down. The time is going down. Oh my gosh. They're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. <laughs> but yeah, we see Tenemon gets pushed out of distortion. He's like, basically got all of the guys together. And he's like, come on, guys. Do you really want to part ways like this? And the episode ends off 
of them going back into the distortion, but did they make it to the backup square that Izzy has um, put together just in case, you know, I know you've watched, watched this before you watched the episode. Izzy found a way to save them from the reboot and it's like, a, it's basically, he's going to make a backup of their data so when the reboot does happen, you can just give them back their memory, so to say. So yeah, that was happening as well. Also in this episode, Izzy finds out that the reason behind the distortion is Miku, when Miku started, the distortion started when Mukumon and Mako came to Japan, enough reason for me to hate her. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that was that was the episode. And like you know, you you want to think the typical thing only halfway through the series. They're the good guys. There's no way they're losing their memories. But what if? What if? It's the very end of this episode that has made me really excited for the next episode. So I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to watch it. See what actually happened. But like I said, the choreography for the fight. I should have gone basically how I explained it from throughout the review. But for those reasons, because of the ending, the ending saved it. So I'm gonna give it I have to give it a four because it was really touching. I was like, oh. Stop trying to make me cry. But yeah, I'm gonna give it a four star rating. But like always guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care, have a nice day.